Hello, my name is Sean. Welcome to the channel. And today, today we're going to be talking about the Lotus Electra. But before we get into that car, I want to tell you guys that we are still trying to get that 100,000 subscriber mark. Yeah, it's kind of surprising because I haven't talked about it in a while, but I'm still trying to get 100,000 subscribers for my crazy challenge for the year 2022. Can we do it? Uh, that's really up to you. So now let's get to the actual video at hand. The Lotus Electra. Now this will be the first non-sports car from Lotus. The first EV car, I believe, other than their hyper car, which I don't believe is out yet. And the first, you know, four-door car for Lotus. And this thing actually looks pretty damn good. Now a lot of people are saying... This is giving them Urus vibes. I think this looks a little bit better than the Urus. It has the same design philosophies as the newer Lotus that are coming out. And I'm all for it, 100%. Now, this car has 600 horsepower. And can do 0 to 60 in about 3 seconds. And they're saying that the 600 horsepower version is only the base model. There will be what people are claiming a 900 horsepower version of this car and Lotus is saying this is going to be the first hyper SUV ever and I don't know what they mean by hyper because when I think hyper car I think an excess of over a thousand horsepower and speeds of over 200 and you know 17 miles per hour something ridiculous and uh I don't know how fast this car is going to be, but if it's hitting 200 miles, it will be the fastest SUV. If it isn't, then it's just all hype. While the interior for this crossover is pretty excellent, exciting, very sporty, the interior is actually what surprises me because I didn't expect it to be this advanced. We're talking about almost to the level of Tesla with the technology, and I think some steps behind Mercedes and what they're doing with their interior and their EVs. Now, I don't know how much of the concept version this car is and how much of the finished product this is going to be because we're actually a few years still away from this car actually hitting the roads. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that this will be the actual interior for this car. Now, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't talk about the EV-ness of this car for those people that care about that type of stuff. This car is going to have two electric motors, which I said before, are going to make 600 horsepower. And it's going to have a range of about 370 miles. And that's just the maximum amount of range. I don't know how real world that is, but that's the number they're claiming. And this car is going to be a big boy. It is about the same size of a Urus, but weighs about a thousand pounds more at about 5,000 pounds, give or take. Now, we don't know if the 900 horsepower version is going to lose range or gain more range with the power and bigger batteries. We'll have to wait for that car to come out and see. Well, hopefully it won't be you know a step backwards or they might have a version of the car that is going to be all about maximizing the range we'll have to wait and see what their plans are in the future okay so let's talk about pricing while lotus hasn't given us an official price the word is that it's going to be priced similar to the tesla model x which i think is also going to be a rival for mercedes-benz eqs suv now, I would say this car is more in line of rivaling the Tesla uh, because the Mercedes is more of a luxury car. But for that money, and if it's a similar money to the Mercedes, I'm probably going to go for the Mercedes. Even though I do like the sportier aspects of this car, the interior for the Mercedes is just unbeatable at this moment in the EV SUV space. And Lotus isn't finished with EV SUVs. They're actually planning to build at least two more SUVs and all this to appease the American and Chinese market because this car will be built in Wuhan, China. And yeah, it's a new dawn, a new era for Lotus. And, you know, I have varying opinions on this. I would have to see how this car actually functions 
on the road. It's not like I've seen very many uh, lotuses. The first time I actually seen one was a few years ago when I got to look in the interior and was very surprised about how stripped down that car actually was. It was like looking at a goat cart from, you know, my perspective, having never seen one and being in the modern era where cars have so many safety features while that one was bare bones. And, you know, I wish I could have actually driven that car to experience what everybody's been talking about Lotus for all these years. Such a fun, tossable car, affordable sports car. Yeah, but, you know, they're still going to have that. This is also going to be, you know, selling SUVs, to, you know, to turn a profit. And I don't really blame them. I just, you know, my opinion I don't really have one. Overall, I do love the design of this SUV. I think it's very sporty, very attack-ish with all the vents and air ducts and all that stuff. It's not, you know, built like some of the other, you know, crossover SUVs where it's been put in a wind tunnel just to get that fuel economy or, you know, range economy or whatever they want to call it. So I'm really appreciative of that. Hopefully, it'll be the same design when it comes out in the year 2024. If it isn't, then, you know, I probably won't be upset about it. But I will have varying opinions about why it was changed. You know, a lot of stuff on this car we really can't get in America. But, you know, the changes will be very minuscule. It'll look the same. So let me know what do you think about this new SUV from Lotus. Did you like it? Did you love it? Are you tired of the SUVs? Are you tired of the EVs? Let me know in the comments and thank you for everyone that supports the channel that watches these videos that subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to do a lot of things here and you know I got to put out some of my ideas what I actually have in the production values and make it a reality and hopefully with the growth of the channel I can do more of what I love and that's making these videos to a quality that is the best for your viewership so if you like the video like the video if you dislike the video dislike the video if you want to see what i got planned next come see what i got planned next got a lot of stuff for this channel really want you guys to be there with me and with that said i'll catch you later